Mayor, right honourable MP, um, acting commissioner. Oh, sorry, chief constable. <laughs> acting commissioner, county president, family of St John, and especially the officers and members of Crawley Division. As I said earlier, this has been a long time in the coming, but aren't we fortunate to have such a facility? Speaking to the members of the community of Crawley, which is a very vibrant and diverse community, it deserves a vibrant and diverse membership of St John to serve it. And I know from your past experience, in the conditions that you were working in, and the marvellous achievements that you've had for St John in Crawley, that coming to this premises will be a great uplift. It will mean that you will be able to increase your membership, and it also means that you'll be able to be in an environment where you can do the training and learn what's required to be very excellent first aiders. Hopefully some paramedics will come from that as well. Yes, I noticed the flashes, madam. Um, I, I, I think that's enough from me because the main part of this evening is to dedicate this premises and to unveil the plaque. So I thank you all for coming along. We'll all have the opportunity to have an informal chat afterwards. But we come to the formal part of the evening now. And I ask the Lord Lieutenant to come, say a few appropriate words, and perhaps unveil the plaque. And we're very pleased you've come. Thank you, Well, hello everybody, and thank you very much for coming tonight, especially our badges. It's quite late for you, I know, and school tomorrow. Um, but everyone from the St John family, as Paul said, it's very much a family. I've come to realise that since I became Lord Lieutenant and had even more to do with St John than I had in my previous reincarnation when I was involved with the National Health Service and was chairman of a hospital. And even then, I found out just how St John gets everywhere and how, how much our, our community relies on all that you do voluntarily. So thank you, before I go ahead and do the business of tonight, thank you for all you do and the time that you give up. I think we've got a paramedic here tonight, haven't we? So you've got a day job. I do. You do, and here you are in your spare time doing this, and you're not the only one I know. No. So thanks all of you, your work is appreciated. Wherever we go to big functions, big events, we always see St John. And when I was at Shoreham Airport uh, three or four weeks ago at the air show, I made a point of going round to three different stations where St John were, weren't they? Uh, and chatting to the people there. Mind you, it was quite interesting. They were terribly busy looking after casualties and lost people, lost children and, and people who were feeling poorly. But they also set out a rather nice little coffee table <laughs> in the area in the shade where they could watch the, the flying. So, so all power to them. But tremendous work that, that you all do. But what a difference to Crawley this facility is going to make, isn't it? Paul's already said how long it's been in the planning. A long, long time. And my predecessor, and I took over from him three years ago now, my predecessor will be very interested to know that at last you've got the premises that you deserve. So thank you for inviting me tonight, and it's an honour to be asked to open your new premises before. And what would you like me to do now? Well, I would like you to unveil the plaque, we then show the plaque, and perhaps we'll read what's on it, shall we? I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> so it gives me a lot of pleasure. And it's an honour to open <laughs> your new premises here. Are you ready? I'll blind everybody at Oh. And it says. <laughs> These headquarters of the Crawley Division of St John Ambulance were inaugurated by Mrs. Susan Piper, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of West Sussex on the 27th of September, 2011. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a pleasure. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Uh, yes, sure. Thank you.
Hello everybody, good evening to you all. It's a great honour for me to attend the opening of St John's Ambulance Division Headquarters and Training Department. St John's is a wonderful example of the power of volunteering and its positive impact on the whole community. I was so impressed to read that just one in one year, St John's Ambulance has provided first aid training to 800,000 people. That is an impressive total of our fellow citizens who are now equipped to make a potential life-saving difference. St John's Ambulance has a great community profile and it is always there ready and able at public events in uncertain times. It is also reassuring to know that we have a dedicated professional organisation ready to support our emergency services. I wish you every success with your new division headquarters and training department. Thank you very much. Well, right right Honourable Henry Smith, MP. One of the uh, hazards of being uh, an MP is that uh, you're called upon to speak when uh, perhaps uh, one wasn't expecting to. <laughs> uh, but one of the delights of being an MP is that politicians always have something to say. Uh, and so um, I won't disappoint you this evening, but I promise you I'll keep it set very brief. Um, I can only really echo and follow on from what uh, our Lord Lieutenant uh, has said and what uh, our Mayor has said in uh, welcoming the development of uh, this fantastic new centre for uh, St John Ambulance. Um, it's absolutely right, whatever event I go to, it seems as though St John's Ambulance is there. And the selfless dedication uh, that those who volunteer uh, from uh, every age, as we can see uh, represented uh, this evening, is something that is uh, truly inspiring. And indeed, I, uh, several years ago now, I probably need a refresher, uh, did uh, my own uh, first aid uh, course with St John uh, Ambulance and uh, that was uh, certainly something that I, I certainly found uh, very worthwhile. I'd just like to uh, really finally finish in saying that I think it's very fitting uh, that an organisation uh, like uh, St John should be here uh, in Longley House. Longley has a long tradition uh, and a long history uh, with the new town of Crawley and I think that it, you're using uh, this building, this historic building uh, for uh, Crawley is something that I think is, um, is, is a great new use uh, for this building to continue uh, and uh, you're, you're very welcome here and it's great uh, to see St John's Ambulance here right at the centre of Crawley um, going forward into the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so pleased to see so many of you here and to share with us in this very, very special occasion the opening of our new headquarters. It has been an awful long time coming. The division has actually served the people of Crawley for over 80 years, nearly 90. And we have moved around a bit in that time. We have moved from scout huts to guide huts and school halls to church halls. We spent some time in the rectory stables, presumably without the horses. And we even spent some time in the rectory loft. I'm not sure what all that was about, but... And all that before we finally moved into our previous headquarters in Orchard Street. We were supposed to be there for a temporary stay of five years, and it turned out to be over 50. Um, but it really did. In the last few years we were there, it became very, very dilapidated, and it uh, became as I said to Colin earlier on, beyond human <coughs> habitation. It got overtaken by a rather large wasp's nest, which I spent many hours trying to attack, but they got better of me in the end. 